Now I know you guys are probably wondering, how can I use AI in my digital art workflow? So I'm gonna show you how to take this sketch into something like this. Welcome to the Sketch Lab. All right, guys, like I said, there's a tunnel tool. Ugh. Like I said, there are a ton of tools out there. Um, and every week there's just another one and it's just hard to keep up. Um, so the tool that we're going to look into today is called BizCub. Now I've been playing around with this tool since last year, since it first came out. I think it came out last year. Uh, and I, I love it. And the reason why I love it is because it, it takes your sketch and the AI tool that's inside this come, uh, it creates a full color rendering or like a 3D rendering from your sketch. So it literally adheres to your sketch. Um, as you can see here on the website, um, it could take a sketch and make it into a beautiful rendering. Um, I mean, you can see the chair, how they you can actually make it 3D. I mean, these are this is a great tool to design products, um, concept development. Um, so this is something that I've been using for a while. It's very powerful. There is a free tier um, I'm using right now, uh, but it's still quite powerful. I mean, you can still do a lot with it. Um, so I'm gonna um, upload the sketch of the robot that I created. Uh, and I called it Harmony because it's the robot with this with this bird, and it's just the what, bro? What are you talking about, man? This idea of us harmonizing with technology. Um, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload the sketch into this All right, so we're gonna go here and uh, in your upper right hand corner. Uh, we're going to select new file, and uh, and we're going to go to start in studio. Now, there's this um, another side of this kind of uh, is this workbench. We'll get to that maybe later on, but it's like this endless canvas where you can just um, generate ideas, brainstorm, and create just different variations of your idea. Um, it's really really cool. So, but we're going to get to that later on um, in the near future, but we're going to focus on uh, the start in studio section. So we're going to sketch and render. That's what we're going to focus on today. So as you can see, this interface is pretty simple, um, very clean design. So uh, what we're going to do, um, so right here, you'll see it says landscape, portrait, and square. Um, I like to just go to uh, upload an image that's that's what i like to do first all right guys boom so i uploaded the sketch now i created this sketch in um procreate and um and or you can just hand draw it on on paper and just scan your drawing and then you can just upload it into this count so either way whatever makes you comfortable so now um the cool thing about this is that you can upload your sketch and it would actually create a prompt automatically. It'll just analyze your drawing and it will create a prompt for you automatically, which is really, really cool. Um, so what it says is here, um, says a humanoid robot with foliage and flowers holding a bird gently on its finger set in a forest environment. So, and then, um, so we can leave that there. Uh, and they have the palette. Um, where you can uh, select a rendering style and adjust the detail level for your generation. Um, so, for instance, uh, I like to use Viscon in general. Um, it gives it like this really nice texture 3D look of, uh, of your sketch. Um, surface sculpt, um, I didn't really play around with that, but we can experiment. Uh, volume render, just Think of it as your like a 3D model, but without textures. Uh, realistic products. Um, I haven't played with that one yet, 
um, Cyber Cell. It gives it this like animated look, like this Technicolor. Um, that's give it. It gives it like this 2D illustration effect. Um, and they got Pastel, Digital Sketch, and Linear. Um, so let's start with the Viscount General. And you have reference. Um, you can use reference images as style guides to influence the look and feel of your renders. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can get like, uh, take an image that, um, that you would like to use as an inspiration or reference. And it would, uh, this code will actually kind of adhere to that style. So in the drawing influence, uh, part of the, um, of this tool is really important. Um, so a hundred percent basically is telling this com to follow my sketch. Um, if you go all the way down to zero or whatever, lower, you're basically giving AI some kind of like creative license. So for me personally, I like to keep it this 80, 20 rule where I like to keep it 80% of drawing influence and 20% of, uh, uh, AI creativity. So let's go ahead and generate that. Let's see what happens here. Whoa. Look at that. Yes. That's awesome. It's, it's, it's just, this is incredible. Um, and then after, after you're done with this, um, so after it generates, you can go to add. And then if you go on your left hand side, uh, there's a panel called layers and it'll, um, it'll actually save into the, into the, as a, as a layer, um, which is really cool. Cause then you can export this out as a PSD file, and then you can just, um, utilize that in Photoshop. So what I like to do is, um, I, I like to export this out as a PSD file and then do my editing in Photoshop. So I love to do that. So I like to take bits and pieces from other layers or other generations and then put it to get pieces together and, and, and create the look that I, that I really want. Uh, so let's go, let's, let's generate another one. Five minutes later. All right. So that's kind of cool, but I mean, it's a little different, but it's, it's really cool. So, um, we can get going and let's see, let's see what the surface sculpt looks like. What's that? Play around with that. Okay, so to give it like almost like a, uh, it, it's an illustration effect. That's just, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go volume render. See how that looked like. That's cool. So I made it a three D render without the texture, like I said before. So that's really really cool. Uh, let's do realistic product. Oh, and you can also change the percentage of these, which is really cool. So we'll, we'll keep it at a hundred. Ooh, that's cool. Let's try cyber. All right. That's kind of cool. All right. Let's go to Technicolor. See, so with these, with AI, you just have to experiment, you know, and get the look that you want. Um, you know, it's really worth experimenting. You get yourself more familiar with these tools and you kind of create your own your own process honestly um create your own style you can try line art even though what i did is what i uploaded is like a line art but i kind of want to see what um that looks like okay interesting so we're not gonna do that so you know there's many others but i like i like to stick with the this time general and um and you can tweak this um uh so what i like to do is say holding a bird i'll say holding a yellow bird gently on his finger humanoid robot let's just uh i like to give it some like wear and tear because i want to so the story like you kind of want to create your story before you create prompts um and you sometimes i utilize chat gpt and i'll show you how to do that uh later on um, but for this, for this here, I want to, I want to, I want this robot to be like, um, you know, it was, it's been there for decades and it's starting to rust, uh, like the robot kind of lost its way. 
for you know for decades uh, so kind of like foliage and growth and moss is growing on them, that kind of stuff so those are the things like you kind of picture in your mind like what you want it to look like so that's why i love using um, tools like this um, where you can just you know just ai can just help generate new ideas um, it's just your your creative assistant, so to speak. I mean, so look at it that way. It's your creative assistant. It's not going to replace you. Um, and I think it's just going to enhance you, you know. Um, I know that there's a lot of fear out there and people are scared of it. And I used to be one of those that are just scared of this this whole AI thing. And I just kind of just started experimenting. I, then I started to see like how I can incorporate this into my design workflow. And it's been a game changer for me personally and professionally and, um, and be able to just create images from a mind where it would take me forever to create this in 3d. I mean, I know how to use 3d, but if I can just, you know, by default, I'm an illustrator. I love to, you know, I draw and things like that. So if I could just take my drawing and then put it into a tool like this. And then create a 3D rendering from my 2D sketch. I mean, that's amazing. And so there's there's so many things that um, that you can do with this um, and experiment in your own time as well. So so let's say uh, a humanoid robot. Uh, let's say a humanoid rusty rusty robot with foliage and flowers. Um, let's say and moss growing growing on the robot holding a yellow bird gently on his finger so let's so let's see how that looks all right check that out so we got a little rust going on here you change the bird into a yellow bird um got some rust i love that that's beautiful. All right. So uh, instead of yellow flowers, foliage and so what's cool is that um you don't actually have to have a detailed sketch. I mean it can be less detailed than what I uploaded. And um it'll still understand what you're what 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 you've drawn. Um that's cool too. I mean, I love the I mean change the color. I mean it has like this um copper brown color now. Um, so, you know, that's kind of cool. All right, let's send that. Please generate more. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. All right. So as you can see, our, I had generated so many <laughs> different kinds. Um, I mean, I, I went crazy. This is really cool. I mean, it's really rusty. Love the, just the, the finish, that texture there. Um, yeah. Here I gener um you know, I like this one a lot. Really, really like this one. All right. So now I kind of got like what I wanted. This is this is I love this. Um now I want to export this out um as a PSD file. So what you do is you go out and share, go to share. Um you can just export it out as a JPEG, uh, just a JPEG image. You can go up to uh 4K resolution you can do a video time lapse so basically it'll just do a time lapse video of all the layers you've created so it'll just go layer by layer um turn this into a 3d object um if you well yeah this if this was to if you were to make this a 3d uh object you can export it out as a uh, obj file i mean like i said in viscom you can export export the psd file and it'll maintain all its layers. So I just kept the ones that I liked. So here uh, is all the layers, my retouch layers. Um, don't judge me. I didn't name them. Um, I'll, I'll, for those of you who are uh, OCD with their layers. Um, but yeah, I have um, used generative fill tool. And like I wanted to add, you know, more. Um, like the moss here, um, just some bit of greenery, you know, a little moss growing on it. Like I said, I mean, this robot has lived in, been lost in the woods 
for a long time. Yeah, I don't know. This robot's been lost in the woods for a while, so it needs an update. So not too smart of a robot here. But um, anyways, um, so yeah, I did my retouching, um, added a little bit of some color grading, and uh, to give, make it all just cohesive and together. Um, in one of these videos, I'll probably show you, you know, some some of my retouching tricks. Um, but yeah, but next, um, we're going to animate this scene. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, and just hopefully that kind of demystify some things about AI and, um, you know, drawing your original characters, your scenes and concepts, whatnot, and then using tools like Viscom to just bring it to life. This will help accelerate your process um, and just bring your drawings to life. Um, now, I think learning the fundamentals of design, like illustration um, and 3D, I think those those things are important because that'll help you use these tools a lot better. You kind of understand like 3D space and, um, and you know, all these things and just the fundamentals in general is important. So just don't skip those things if you're new to, you know, illustrating and all that stuff. Don't skip those steps. I mean, learn the basics and the fundamentals because it's, it's just going to it'll allow you to be more of an effective artist. Um, and then using these AI tools allow you to be more effective with AI too. So, so don't skip that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and, uh, and we're going to put this, this bad boy into motion next. Uh, all right guys. So don't forget, be sure to leave your comments below and hit that subscribe button. All right. I'll see you guys later.